Uh, hello everybody so this is a basic uh, basic tutorial of SQLite C uh, programming okay so in this video I want to show you how to include SQLite in your C++ project and how to create a database uh, how to create table and how to insert information in that table and how to select from the table okay so let's first create a new project uh, so let's just choose console application uh, let's put it just in the desktop let's name it C++ SQLite uh, let's create <clears throat> so and now uh, go online excuse me uh, and go to just write SQLite just to download some packages uh, and go to download so just download, download this first one okay so I have already downloaded it just click here uh, so that's our project that's here okay so I have already downloaded that SQL, uh, SQL Lite uh, library. So let's extract uh, and the desktop also. Uh, so that's it. Let's rename it. Just name it SQL Lite. And what we do? So open and we put this. Uh, SQL light and put it here okay uh, so now we just include that library that header okay uh, so what we do here uh, include uh, just use simple quotes uh, SQLite and SQLite that's the name of, of our folder and that's the name of the header itself okay point each okay uh, so let's remove that line here uh, so the first thing so that's your stream let's using uh, name space std uh, and here the first thing uh, we declare our database so sqlite 3 let's name it uh, db okay. Uh, the second thing I will explain what that mean uh, SQL light to free uh, statement uh, that's link also and now let's create our uh, database uh, let's connect to our uh, database SQLite uh, 3 open here I want to create my database okay so the first thing I declare the name of my database okay so just my DB for example and we pass our uh, database address as argument okay uh, so let's run and see what can happen 
<clears throat> so a reference to local variable okay so yes there is a problem what I want to do I must include my C library is here okay so just uh, right click and add and add existing items uh, I go directly to ASCII-Lite and I add these two point C file, okay, this shell and ASCII-Lite 3, okay, because I must include these two files here, okay. so let's run now, Let's run and see what can happen. So it's running, there is no, excuse me, unable to start program, Microsoft Debug Console, this problem continue repair, okay, okay, let's just rerun it again. So there is no problem, everything is good. So if I open here my folder I, I find that my DB here is created okay and that it's empty here okay uh, what I want to do now so the first thing first I want to create my uh, my table okay okay so what I do here is I just so so SQLite three execute okay I use this function so if you want to search for for this function just go to online and search for it okay so because my my video is just a basic tutorial uh, so I I won't uh, go through these arguments one by one okay so uh, the most important thing excuse me where is my so i just go with the important things okay so the first argument is my database link okay so that's my database link and then i create my table okay so that's create table so and if not exist if not exists let's name it algolancer as my youtube channel name and let's just create uh, ant x1 ant excuse me in SQL the the name is the first and then the type okay and x2 another integer and let's for example declare a name which is varchar uh, excuse me let's say so that's our create table if not exists algolancer i have two integers x1 and x2 and the name uh, so that's it and the next thing 
uh, the next thing is so the next thing is uh, the callback function we don't need it and this also that's and that's the error message okay the error message is sometimes uh, very important to check uh, if your uh, uh, if your request is running uh, as well okay so here I put no and here also it's no and let's declare our uh, message be before okay so that's the chair error okay and we put our uh, error link here okay. uh, that's just the address okay uh, so let's also declare a response Uh, the first thing here is to check if this uh, this this function is running as well okay so if uh, RC is different than SQLite okay so that's mean that if there is a problem uh, with this uh, function call I go here and I see where is the problem okay uh, I just error uh, and I print the error itself because we pass this error uh, as argument here okay uh, so let's let's run <coughs> Let's run and see what happened. Uh, so there is no problem. So if I go here, I find that here I have eight kilobyte. Okay. Uh, so let's just open our database just to see if there is something here here that's our request here create table i call answer x1 x2 and the name okay uh what we want to do now uh so we have created our table okay so now we want to answer some things in our table okay uh so uh by one time uh, let's uh let's enter 10 elements in our in our table okay uh i is uh, less than 10 i plus plus uh so let's create string as a query uh, string query uh, equal <coughs> what I do uh, so insert into our table name is algol answer okay algol answer uh, uh, values uh, let's just enter uh, for example f uh, as x1 I give 12 and as x2 I give 13 and let's make the name always Najib okay uh, so let's now uh, just print this uh, print this query because we ran it okay so see out uh, query uh, <clears throat> uh, 
and now let's just uh, run the, the query okay so rc i use rc always this variable here equal sqlite 3 execute and so i give it db my database and i give this query here uh, no uh, no i i pass uh, my error message as argument here uh, so this that's an error no switchable configuration from string to char so for that i just use cstr okay uh, so and let's check also for the for if there is error messages so if rc is different than sqlite sqlite okay uh, i just print the problem itself the same as this one okay uh, so that's insert error okay uh, let's try to run so there is no problem okay there is no problem so here I always enter 12 and 13 okay uh, just here if I go to my uh, where is my oh, excuse me where is my project this one here if I open I find that there is other uh, informations added here okay so that's what I add here in my project uh, what I want to do now so I, I want to instead of using just a static number let's let's make it uh, equal I for, okay so let's first add string include string and here uh, to string I enter I okay uh, and here also I enter for example I plus 5 okay uh, I plus 5 uh, so let's run now so from 0 to now 9 and from my uh, 5 to 14 okay uh, so let's now select okay so notice that every time I run my program, just the new information is added to this database. Okay. Every time I run my program, so a new information is added here. Okay. Uh, every time I run, okay. Uh, so let's select now. So that's for the insertion. Uh, and let's now see how to select uh, information. Okay. Uh, so the, the first thing I must use is uh, SQLite 
uh, SQLite 3 always I use prepare function version 2 okay uh, so you can go online and check what's this function mean okay uh, uh, so that's my that's this function so that's here okay so that's the database the first argument and then this statement <coughs> excuse me and the, uh, then the maximum length and this statement and the so I don't understand this essentially I don't understand what that mean also I just give null or zero okay uh, so let's uh, enter our information here so we give our database okay and then uh, we pass our SQL okay so I want to select uh, all the information so I select x1 uh, x2 and the name uh, from Algolancer okay uh, so for the length for the length uh, I just pass minus one that's mean don't care okay uh, and then I pass my the, the address of my statement so this statement here okay so stmt and the last one is zero or make it null if you want okay and let's now declare uh, integers a1 and a2 okay uh, let's also declare uh, my name excuse me my name just uh, i declare this uh, just uh, for when i i get the the result i put them here i store them here okay uh, <clears throat> and now what i do so this this statement here what this statement here so we select from this from this table here this statement in this case uh, is associative array associative table like this one here okay uh, which that's the column of x1 and that's x2 that's x2 and that's the name okay so it this statement is associative uh, table like this one here okay so the first thing we have a pointer to the to the first call a row here for the first row okay so to select this the first row what I do uh, excuse me so to select the first row what I do uh, so I just use SQLite SQLite uh, 3 step okay uh, and this uh, with this function we we'll pass this statement as argument okay <coughs> <clears throat> so this function just returns what this function do it just returns as first as first place it's it was here the link the, the pointer is here it returns this row and go to the next one okay that's what this function that's me that stnt pointer is here so when I use uh, SQLite step, it returns this function returns this, this one and go to the next one. Okay. Uh, so what I do now, uh, 
so I use the function SQLite uh, SQLite 3 uh, column so the first column is an integer okay the first column is an integer because x1 is an integer okay uh, <clears throat> so I up I pass as uh, argument this statement also and because I want to here the first column index is 0 and that's 1 and that's 2 okay so I just want to get the first one so a1 a1 equals uh, the first statement and I2 equal the second column which is one okay uh, <coughs> so that's a2 here so let's just print these two uh, informations here uh, excuse me a1 equal so a1 the value of this a1 here and a2 equal a2 uh, so let's run now uh, So here I have that's the insertion and that's the so that's the first so where is 12 and 13 I don't have any 12 or 13 here so these values because I say that every time I ran my program I uh, I store new informations I remember that at the first place I make this equal 12 and this equal 13 okay uh, so what I can do I just want to so if you want you can just delete the database okay if I delete this database so and ran again so a equal so because I say that at first place it it returns the first informations the first row okay so let's also get the, the name this name okay uh, so my name equal uh, so the name is in the third column so but here there is a problem because this that's an integer this function just return integer here I use another function which called text okay uh, so here also there is a problem I don't know I don't know where is the problem here so let's let's check the type of this function okay uh, let's go online and check uh, so that's a blob that's what is text that's a value yes so that's insinuate const insinuate char okay so let's name it here uh, So, and here let's use the name also. Uh, name equal uh, this my name here. Okay. Uh, 
let's run <coughs> so that's zero five and the g so now we say that this just returned the first but how if i want to to select all of the all, all of my uh, my rows my returned uh, rows here what i do so here i just use a while loop okay so while loop so while uh excuse me uh I pull I put everything here if this statement uh, <clears throat> is not a different uh, is different excuse me uh, of SQL light uh, done or just let's let's it just like this uh, let's first delete because that's too big now and we want to just to a sample simple uh, example okay so let's see what can happen here so answer this 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 so there is a problem uh, there is problem here why why that we have problem here because when I select when I select and go to the next one to the next one to the next one and go here uh, and we have no information here okay because that I must say that <coughs> excuse me ask you later three is different than uh, is is different than a scale light uh, done okay so let's run now That's before stop uh, <clears throat> so that's it so that's all of my informations inside my <coughs> my database okay so here here if you want uh, make for example where x1 is greater than 7 that is no problem <coughs> So we select only if this one is greater than seven. Okay. Uh, normally, when we end, when we finish, we must close our database. Okay. SQLite three close our database DB. Okay. <clears throat> So that's it that's it for this tutorial uh, I hope that you find this video helpful for you and I hope that you like my video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching